Hello internet, it's me again with another race for you. As always, I'm joined with Ben. Say hello, Ben. Hello, I'm Ben. And today we're doing a race on the Rossworth Vale route. Well, my version of Rossworth Vale. We're going from Lowfell to the junction at Armand Vale to Sandsworth and then back here again with another stop at Armand Vale. I suggested we do it in class 5 tender engines with 9 standard well, Stanley are period three coaches. So, Ben, what are you driving? I'm driving a uh, 460 Of the LNWR. Yes, LNWR? Uh, I think it's LN. Well, it's X LNWR. And I am taking a, a Stanier Jubilee number 45699 Gatalia. In BR standard green, which looks quite nice. So, Ben, are you ready to go? Yes. In three, two, one, go. Here she goes. For those of you who are wondering, yes, this is the ATF cab. I've just had to use it just because this. Ah! My cap seems to be offset. By offset, do you mean it's hovering above the engine? No, it's not. No, the cab is actually in the middle of the tender. Like, you know the left-hand side? That must be off a garret, then. Yeah, it's an Australian cab, which is... It must be off a garret. Yeah, it's positioned in the middle of the um, railways, off-centered to the right. So, when I go into the left-hand window, I'm actually looking straight down the tracks. <laughs> what speed are you doing? Uh, 32. I'm only just... No, right. I've got an advantage over you. I've got a bigger tender, but I don't think that will really matter. I don't, yeah, I don't think that would really matter, would it? No, it's, um, only 23 miles up to, up to Sandworth on the return journey. But yes. Let's you on, on the, on what we're doing here. We're doing a race from Lowfell over to Armandale. But he will be stopping there to load passengers, then going up to Sandler. Now it depends which way we're going to go, because there's two ways. Yes, I've got a rough idea which way I might go. I'm not too sure. And if, if I hope, hopefully, my path should be set on the way of return. On the way. Wait, hang on. What's your distance? 1.5 miles. Oh, come on. I'm 1.35. Well, 3. Yeah, 3. Oh. Uh, wait a second. I've hit. 1.5 now. So you're about two miles. Oh. <laughs> and I, and also I may mention that this thing is uh was reclassified 6p though. It was 5p at 5xp on the LMS. Mine's rated 5xp. Up. 
Oh, bugger. I may or may not have accidentally overfilled the boiler. But, shh. We won't speak of that. <laughs> Just like... Hmm, we're neck and neck then. Because my rear coach has just cleared the platform. <laughs> Mine's exited the platform a while ago. And also, if you notice, that this is my... Well, I said that this was my version. I replaced the lumber mill that was here with the brickworks and the cement works. And we passed the junction off to what was used to be a coal mine, I believe. I, repl I replaced it with a um, a limestone quarry. Yeah. My opinion, the bet. A viaduct. Which viaduct? A viaduct just neighbouring the village. You mean the bridge with three arches? Yeah, that's a viaduct. Yeah, that's uh, I've, my rear coach has just cleared that now. Same. Oh, we're neck and neck. What speed are you doing? 50. I'm doing 60. I'm doing the speed limit for once. <laughs> and now I'm speeding. I wonder if this thing will actually pick up water at the water troughs. Hmm. I wonder what I get if I if I end up once I end up on the on the piece on the proper PC, should I actually make a version of this on Train Simulator? You mean MSTS? No, Train Simulator is in TS twenty sixteen. Oh, <laughs> I don't know. A lot of races seem to be uh, being performed on. That yeah, there is. It's probably because the physics are better. For those of you who don't know, I'm, what, what I mean by that is, uh, let's just say the A4s have a certain problem. You know what I'm talking about, Ben, the 400 PSI problem. What speed are you doing now? 50, and my rear coach has cleared. Wait, 50? Yeah. 164. <laughs> so I'm in the lead! I'm starting to think I should change the speed signs up to about like 70 or 80 miles an hour. I'm not sure. I mean, my version of um, Roswell Fail has lowered speed. The, my version of Roswell Fail has lowered my. I've lowered the speed limit on the on my version. Because of the adjusted junction layout. I think the uh, low, the high speed on this route is uh, 80 miles an hour. It's, I don't know. Because I think there's a, I think I saw an 80 speed board along the uh, back route of the, you know where you, where you go towards Sandsworth from Rossworth. It goes into the tunnel, just as you come out the tunnel, just near the signal box. But I think there's an 80 limit there. So, I'm just getting pressure. <laughs> hmm, what does that? What does that say? Johnson Electrical. Hmm. Passing over the bridge into Arthington Station at 67 miles an hour. It's going to be interesting because most of the route is flat. Yeah. <laughs> right. Okay. Shove that. Okay. I'm rounding the curve in towards the viaduct. See if we can get a good view. Okay, turn the HUD off. 
That should be a good view. Oh, that is a good view. That is a good view. Right, I'm going to shut the reg off. If it'll let me. I definitely think I should have done one thing. Put myself as busy on Skype. So then I wouldn't get notifications. If only multiplayer would actually work properly on this thing. Yeah, instead of just Oswald dependencies. This has been locally modified. You must revert it. I haven't even bloody touched the damn thing. Like we had to do, like we had to do with those trees. And with the driver because it had a missing mesh. Yes, because everyone, everyone's had to do something with it. Why just? Why don't you just accept the damn thing and just try to run it anyway? I mean, that would that would mean I that would mean I would could use I could use payware stuff. In fact, you know what it could do it could if you use payware stuff it would could find something similar. Say if you use like oh, I don't know like a black a payware black five for example it could use the default black five instead. Yeah. Like on open rails. Just substitute, substitute similar locomotives. Apart from the uh, HHP8 in place for a class 66. Yes. <laughs> right. Breaking. For almond mail. Yes. I'm almost at the water troughs. Which I placed in, by the way. I don't have a water trough equipped on my tender. Neither do I, but I'm interested to see. Oh, there goes the uh, safety valves. I'm going at 67 miles per hour. Highest I reached was about 72. I'll need to check the video back just to see. And I'll shut you up. Right, initial brakes. I'm passing through Armandale Yard. You're passing through the yard, and I'm approach. I'm on the approach to the station. I think I'll stop right next to the signal. I think I'll turn the water off as well. Remember, you have to stop in the station. Yeah. I think I'll stop the engine just after the platform. There we go. That's a good stop. Some of the coaches are behind the platform, but oh well. Doesn't make much difference. I could have put the brake coach at the front a little bit further forward because there's only got one door on this side, but oh well. Right, let's set the path. Okay. I think I'll go that way. And that's set. Before you start asking, AD05 is set the correct way, it just displays it as going the wrong way. I don't know why. Do you have any idea why that is, Ben? Um, what, which junction is this? AD05, it's the one going towards the where the bay platform used to be, before I switched out with uh, Gargrave's platforms. It's the one that's facing the one that's facing the wrong way, yeah, that one. Because if you notice, that signal's uh, displayed as... Hmm. But then again, that displays anything, really. Yeah. Perhaps it's 
guess to do with the way that uh, trains get tracked. I'll help you later. Hmm. I don't know why it does that, but oh well. Could just I could I could just leave it. Well, I'm just departing as well. Which way are you going? I'm going uh, anti-clockwise. Are you going Rossworth way or? Rossworth way. Oh, because I'm going Malton way. For some reason, I have 100% water on the boiler and it's not going down. Hmm. Interesting. No, I turned the injector off, which is even weirder. Did you put them both injectors off? I had only one on. Yeah, I turned the right one off. Mm. Oh well. Right, what speed are you doing now? This situation yet again. You're doing 30 odd and I'm only doing 30. Just now. I can't click. <laughs> Damn that three couch, that three piece sofa. For those of you who are wondering what I mean by the three piece sofa, I had to go move a couch today and it was a pain in the ass. Ah. Now my arms are absolutely aching like hell. No lagging, please. Right, next speed limit for me is in a mile and it's a 60. Mine is a 40 in 0.3. Yeah, that'll be at Sheriff Sutton. So now it'll be interesting to see which way is quicker. Because I'm going the way that goes through the tunnels first. You're going the other way. Yep. Whistling what? for the station. That whistles off a bullied merchant navy. <laughs> it might be, uh... Whistles. Especially when it comes to the manor. That has a that has a whistle of a bloody like Pacific. Right, where's where's Gatalia? Gatalia, where are you? Should be coming out the tunnel. There she is. No lag. Here she comes out the tunnel. I'm doing 47. I'm doing 48 miles an hour. Ha ha. I've now hit that 60 limit outside the tunnel. Next limit is at Maltham and it's a 40. All station limits seem to be a 40. Except the one at Low Fell, which is a 25. Well, the corners are quite tight. Hmm. Pendolino could go run that about 80. Mm, yeah, but it could cause discomfort to the passengers. Not really, it's tilt, it tilts. Yeah, it says... Yeah, we're not with the fuck controller thing. <laughs> yeah, so we won't mention the season 16 lines, though. Oh? Yes, <laughs> because it's season 16. Not the season 16 lines, not the season 16 lines, not the season 16 lines.